Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. I wanted to bring you guys a little update on Redcoin. There's been some people asking about it, so I wanted to do a video for you all. And it actually looks like there's some different things that are setting up nicely, so I wanted to bring it to you. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. If you could like, subscribe, all that, I really appreciate it. So guys, we're going to look at the macro view here on Redcoin. We're also going to look at the micro view. Okay, so we're going to start out with our Fibonacci's. We're going to go through a few different things, candles, trend lines, Fibonacci. We're going to look at our moving averages, our support and resistance, price history, volume, RSI, stock RSI. And these are a lot of things you want to look at before you start thinking about entries. Okay, so what we're looking at here, guys, this macro Fibonacci that we have in the green, we actually broke down through this 0 0.886. So that's a big deal because we're probably sitting down here in that 0 0.93 and you saw we got a little bounce off here. I was trying to get it into my Fibonacci here guys, but I wasn't able to get the 0 0.93, I apologize. But you can see we came down even lower than that 886 and then we came back up and what we have here was tweezer tops. And when you see those tweezer tops, most likely you're gonna get pushed to the downside after that. You can see them even up here guys. That's something I really want you to pay attention to. We're gonna get into candles because candles can tell you the story. Obviously, you want the Western techniques as well, the RSI and the moving average and all those things, but the, the Japanese candlesticks are so crucial and they're so important and they're so important to understand the patterns because they can really save you a lot of money. So I wanna show some of those to you guys as well. But you saw how we got pushed down through there. Now we're trying to get back up through the 0 0.886, which is good guys, we're up 4.64% right now, but we had low volume. We really, if we're in this downtrend right now, we want some heavier volume. So guys, if we don't get that heavier volume, this may just be a little fake out here. We could bounce off a moving average in that Fibonacci and then come back down here and test, test this 0 0.0014 area. So that's, that's a great possibility, guys, and it all depends on what Bitcoin's going to do. Now, if Bitcoin breaks through that 6,800 area and it breaks through with volume, that could be something that really makes this coin run as well. And what's nice is once we get over these tweezer tops here, guys, which are at 0 0.0056 right there, if we can break those, yes, we're going to have moving averages and Fibonacci's above us, but we don't have a lot of overhead resistance because we fell so hard here. Do you see how big this fall was? So it's almost time to make up for that, if that makes sense. You'll also, also oftentimes see the opposite move happen. So if you see a huge fall like this, then you'll see that reaction is what it's called. And guys will play that. They'll know that it's just a reaction. And they'll get in down in here and then they'll sell up here when they see all these long wicks. Right here, all these long wicks, that is the bears pushing down the bulls. They're saying you're not getting up above that. And you see how that even at the 0 0.618 hit perfectly, guys. These Fibonacci's are so important. So really pay attention to those. And then we'll get into moving averages, different other things. But take a look down here. So now we're going to go into a little bit of price history while we're looking at the macro. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's great to have you here with me. So before, guys, we actually fell more during this market cycle that we're in than we did this past one. This past one, do you see the 0 0.786? Look how many times we hit along that and wicked down to it. And then once you see that rounding, guys, that rounding with volume, do you see that volume? That's the time to get in. That's the time to get in. You'll see it. And then look at these moving averages. These are all going to be treated as support then. You went up so hard and so fast. And what happens is this actually caught air. And when you see something catch air, like with this purple moving average here, which is our 20 EMA, which is a very vital one in cryptocurrency, when you see this gap, it's always going to come back down to it, guys. Always happens. So I want you to pay attention to that. That's something I've learned. And guys, I also want to tell you, I'm, I'm new to this. I've worked on trading and, and red stuff for probably eight months now, nine months. Before I just got into cryptocurrency, I was excited about it, looked at it as a really long-term investment. But then I started studying about trading and markets and all different types of stuff, guys. And what you can learn is just amazing. So you see this here. We didn't fall as much. We went to that seven zero point seven eight six, And then we rounded up and we caught that air. But that volume, when you see that volume, guys, really go in there. So we've, we've, we've fallen harder, guys. So if anything, you know, we're, we're pretty close to getting through this market cycle. If you actually look at the market cycle, the psychology of a market cycle, I mean, we're, we're pretty much there. 
but these are the main overall supports or I'm sorry resistances that you guys want to watch so we're gonna have those tweezer tops there right we'll have this little spot here and then right in here and what's nice guys if we can get through this top here at 1.1 cent look how much room there is to run because remember when it runs super hard like that it's not building any support and it's gonna fall back down but the same is true it fell down so hard and so fast that now guys we can blow right up through that we don't have overhead resistances to go to and once you do get past the all-time high which is up here it's called blue sky breakouts and the price can go where it's gonna go people can get crazy about it like you saw back in December with Bitcoin so anything can happen once you get past that all-time high blue sky breakouts and I want you guys to study that so we're gonna take a few things out of this that I want you guys to do a little research on moving averages is really important blue sky breakouts guys really study those your Fibonacci's so right here guys we're gonna be looking at our five moving average our 20 EMA our 50 moving average and our hundred moving average so let's start with the five in red here that one's gonna tell you basically what's happening on the day-to-day -day basis and you're gonna see how it's moving how price actions moving and it levels it out a little bit more for you guys which is nice but I do like the five day moving average. If you, if you want to get in and out of a trade, that makes sense. You see something nice right here where you have this bullish engulfing candle of this close to doji or, or uh, like a spinning top type deal candle. You want to get in right there because you see that with a little bit of volume. People will ride it up then they'll see that long wick and they'll get out of there and they'll get their, make their little profit. So that's more so the five day moving average is what I would look at. The next one I think is the most important moving average in cryptocurrency and it's the 20 EMA. And that is in purple guys right here. And this one has been really true. I mean, you can see all through here. Look at the purple. Each time guys, we made a little reaction. We hit it. We fell back down. Wick through it back down and that's a big barrier and right now it's overhead so that's why I said we may potentially still go down a little bit more guys we could come down here and test this area around that 0 0.002 mark so say you wanted to get in now though you can dollar cost average down guys and even if it goes down past that if Bitcoin does something crazy and we break down to five thousand dollars then you know this definitely couldn't come down here or even farther because everything's dependent on Bitcoin next thing guys we're gonna be looking at is the 50 moving average here in green and you see guys look at moving averages like a raging river okay so this is the current they're all coming down on top of us right now and we have to get through all those to continue to continue to the upside so that's why it's really a, a big deal to pay attention to moving averages just like if we were on the flip side then they would be acting as support for you and guys will be buying them there but I guarantee you guys will be shorting right up here off the 100 day moving average no doubt say even huge volume came in we would run we'd bust past this tweezer top right here guys and we would run right into this and then that's the spot where guys will be most likely shorting it so you have to understand that you can play both sides of the market as well so you're able to make money even when bitcoins going down and that's what a lot of people get nervous about but it, it's something that can be very profitable if you guys see a candle like this come in after a huge run up so do you see that massive spike guys built no support and then we come in here and look at this bearish candle so number one this wick was over top of it which we'd want that the real body but this is basically like a dark cloud cover and in the Japanese terms that means get the heck out of, get the heck out because there's gonna be a downtrend that's coming and that's exactly what happened guys so if you're looking at this on the three-day chart and you see a candle like this come in and you see the price go from 3.3 cents all the way down to well, let's call it two cents that's a huge move and we have to be aware of that guys and that's what I want you to, to realize are these percentage gains that you don't want to give away and that's why trading just even swing trading can be so valuable that so you don't have to ride all these things up and down and then see you know hardly any gains if you can sell up here and buy close to down in here you've more than doubled tripled quadrupled your coins for the next market cycle that'll come in so even look at this price range guys look at that percentage gain 3165 percent don't most people get all excited in the stock market if you can make you know 
20, 30 percent in a year, that's that's great, guys. So that's what I want you to realize that you're very, very blessed to be in this space when you're in this space and also to be experiencing this bear market if you can buy now after seeing this. So you're seeing a high, lower high, lower high. So we're getting pushed down lower high here at those tweezer tops. So what we need to do is set a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. And that's how the trend's going to change. All right, but until now we've just essentially been setting those those lower highs, and then here we kind of got that higher low, which is good. So that would almost put us in that kind of symmetrical triangle where you can break up or you can break down out of a symmetrical triangle. Now Bitcoin, like I said in one of my last videos, is in a descending triangle, and traditionally, guys, if you look that up, traders are going to play that to the downside. Okay, it doesn't mean it can't break to the upside. News can happen, anything can happen. This is crypto, and all of a sudden you could have this type of volume come in out of nowhere in the middle of the night. Because a big whale put his money in, you know, it, it just you, you you can't you can't account for when this happens. It's just going to happen when it's going to happen. But really, guys, if we're, we're setting higher lows here, that's a big deal. So I just wanted to keep this in mind with you guys. Pay attention to candles. Pay attention to the tweezer tops right here. All these long wicks. That's always going to tell you you're going to get pushed to the downside. Just like if you see a long wick on this downside you're going to know that most likely the price is going to be going up so keep that in mind guys you know it's been a pleasure to be here with you if you guys have any other questions you know put it down low but that's my opinion it wouldn't be a bad idea to start accumulating a position because guys everything everyone knows that it could go lower that's just how it is you know there's a little bit more could go down to this spot right here depending on what bitcoin does but still you'd be buying near the bottom for the next market cycle and there's going to be another market cycle, guys. I mean, it's this is what happens. I mean, even this itself was a little market cycle. And then this one, and they keep getting larger. You know, the next market cycle, guys, could be up in here. You know, you, you could almost draw a trend line off these tops because I've seen it in some of these other charts, guys. And we'll just go like right off in there. And the next one, after it completes its one wave, two wave, three wave, four wave, five wave, it could very well be up in this area. And think if you're getting it at 0 0.003 cents, you know, those are incredible gains, guys. And that's why people are in this market. So, you know, and here's another indicator I want to show you as well because I pulled this up right before I was getting on. Take a look at this, though. That's good on the stock RSI. Do you see how we're low here at the bottom? Right? We always want to be buying, buying the bottom here best we can, but it's starting to hook back through that signal line. Everything's going to be relying upon the volume, though, guys. It, it just is what it is. Then another great one I love to use is the RSI. Many guys are using RSIs, so it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, essentially, guys. All right? So we got as low as 28 here on the RSI, and we topped out at around 63. And you see, guys, people are paying attention to this. Look at this top here correlated with this top. So we had that double top. What happened at the double top? We fell back down. So there's so many things that goes into this, guys. I mean, you could spend a year just studying patterns, candles, RSI, stock RSI, volume, support, resistance. There's just price history. There's so much that goes into this and that you have to put into account before you put your money in. You know, so many people just throw their money in willy-nilly and, you know, you don't want to do that, guys. You really want to learn this technical analysis because it can help you out. And you even see right now, guys, look, 6.91% gains. That's great if someone's in this right now. That is awesome. And don't be afraid to take profit. That's a really big deal. That last huge run we had, guys, when I was just getting into this, and that's why I've learned this stuff and studied as hard as I, I have, is because I was doing the hodling technique, which is great. You know, if you really just long-term investment, you want to continue to accumulate and put them away and build a position, no problem, guys. But there's a lot of people, including myself, who should have taken profits when we saw that huge run that we did back in January. Knowing what I know now, looking at the RSI, seeing it in the 90s, I would have known in a heartbeat, hey, take some profits. And I know that now. So it, it was an education, and you have to look at it like that, guys, because I was blessed to get in basically before the run. So it's almost like I've seen the, this price action when I was first getting in, watched the whole ride, and I was able to get out at some point and, and be able to – 
uh, build some positions, guys, because I started realizing that we were in this continuous downtrend. So I said, I'm not just going to continue to let this ride down. I'll try to build more coins off it. So that's what I was doing. But I, I've seen it. And now we're back to this spot. And that whole parabolic move has been wiped out. Now we're going to go into the next market cycle as soon as Bitcoin puts in that bottom. And we don't know if it's there yet. And I want you guys to be aware of that. So you got you to gotta study these these downsides as well, these bear markets. And guys, bear markets can be some of the most profitable markets as well. And if you want to play these guys on exchanges and stuff, do small positions. And that's how I've done it. It's kind of like paper trading. Do a $200 position. Do a $300 position. And what you're able to do off that is learn, but you also have some money at stake so that you're not just throwing around. You know how you have those fake accounts with fake money. You go, oh, okay, we put it in here. You want some skin in the game, so why not do something small? And if you can make 10, 15 bucks and try to build up a small account, you know that's that's how it's done. And then uh, accumulate more of these coins because if you're able to sell even here, guys, and you can buy back in here, you're going to make more coins, and then you have your coins back. So that's what I want to bring to you guys. And always remember too, look for when this trend is changing. Look for the higher high, higher low, higher high. And then we fell down here. We actually made a lower low. And then we'll probably make a lower high. And then we can get in an equilibrium pattern. We'll have to watch to see if it breaks up or it breaks down. You have to watch those inside candles, guys. But watching the candles is so important. And I just try to study the patterns, guys. There's probably about 70 different patterns and, and names for all these different candlesticks. And, you know, they can really, really help you. It's really important. So... God bless each and every one of you. It was a pleasure to be here with you guys. Like I said, you know, long term, remember I'm not your financial advisor, but long term accumulating at these point, points, I don't see how you could be upset with yourself in a year or two from now or whenever this, you know, market really turns around and gets going. It could be tomorrow. It could be in another year, guys. But, you know, this is, this is a good spot for a long term position, and that's what I wanted to bring to you. So God bless each and every one of you. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and uh, please like, subscribe, all that. really appreciate it.